could. Orps look excellent for, for Spirit. Even better than the Orps on phase right now. Like, Bruggy had a few rounds, sure, but Magix, I disbalanced. These guys are getting 3Ks back-to-back -back rounds on train. So, phase, this is not going to be an easy appearance here in this second map of the series. But it is their pick, and so we've got to at least give them the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, Dust2 is uh, a real classic in the CIS region. So this is one that Team Spirit are going to be very well versed on as well. And I'm kind of happy about this. I feel like we get to see these two teams going head to head on a map that both of them have a very good track record on. You know, obviously with Train, it's one that's been good for Spirit and one that's been kind of 50-50 for Fates. So I want to see both these teams get put through their paces here on Dust. And this mid setup here from FaZe is kind of nifty. You've got BMAS baiting, uh, being the, the kind of bait to draw them in, and Rain waiting close. And boy, oh boy, wow. does it work perfectly. Chopper does get the trade, but that is it for good news for Team Spirit. If you want some bad news, well, they're in a two on four. The bomb's dropped in mid. There's a flank coming in from Nico. There's still players in B. There's only a minute left on the clock. There's a lot of bad news, and the good news kind of pales in comparison. Comparison. And well, yeah, it's only getting worse, Hugo. It's got to get worse before it gets better, Harry. And oh, Chopper misses the timing onto Nico. Did the drop get heard? No. He's got a chance for a backstab here for a single kill at best, but you don't want to play this game all too long with Nico. He will be boring oh! Chopper in his head, <laughs> rent free, and the USP is out now after yeah. that nice kill. I like that, dude. I haven't seen Team Spirit go for knives oh. in any of the games we've, ca we've casted of them. And we've seen a lot of Spirit lately. So I like that from Choppy. You know, builds up some extra money, takes a bit of a risk. Oh, and even takes a third man down yeah, with him. I, man, they are like, you know, that's a that's a solid attempt at an unwinnable 1v5. You take three players down, you get a knife kill out of it. Yeah, I think Team Spirit, you know, they're not, probably not thrilled as to how Rain dealt with them in mid, but with what Chopper was able to accomplish on his own, it's still a, a, an okay beginning here. Yeah, I love that knife kill. Like, I always say in my head, you know, if I was a pro, if I was playing at this level, with the amount of time that people get the chance to knife players and don't do it to be safe, like, I understand why they wouldn't do it. I, would, I, I just want a player that, that never doesn't knife. That any opportunity they can, they go right. for it. So you want JW or Fnatic? Nice team kill. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, that's the closest we and have I just to it. Fnatic. I'm Flush it, yeah, but you know, we we, have, we certainly have like fanatic fill that fill that void fill that yeah, role for sure. Comfy. But uh, yeah, yeah, at times for sure. Um, <laughs> but I feel like we don't get enough knives, Harry. Essentially, that's my point. And spirit, they provide. That feels like you're calling one. fanatic out on a personal level no, at that from, point, saying that we fanatic. don't get enough we knives. Don't, we don't you know, just like... cast fanatic, Harry. <laughs> that would be great fun for sure. But like, uh, fanatic, if you guys are watching this, which. I don't know if it's any one guy or what, like how that works. There's typing going on, so this round isn't live. But I haven't seen a lot of knifing in your games lately. Yeah, and they... I kind of miss the old knife fanatic, honestly. They did lose yesterday, so I understand not going for knives in a losing game. because Maybe like... that's what they need to yeah. reboot the morale, right? Yeah. Like a couple more Get knife kills, and then they go... Man, I remember, like, this game's easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's how they get back to form. Right now, a bit of a tech issue, and we'll be jumping right back into the first buy round for Spirit in a second. Phase they are yet to don the AWP, still on rifles right now, and Nico's armed with a scout. Yesterday, he had the AWP, and he looked just ridiculously good, Harry. Some big flick shots coming in from that A site into the pit. And if he has that form today, if he appears like he did last night, then I think, you know, this isn't going to be as easy as Train was for Spirit. Well, Hugo, we got a bit of a, an extended technical pause here, so I'm going to go off on my tangent yeah, about Team go, Spirit. I think if there ever was a time, it's now. Yeah. I think that now is a good time to be investing in these Team, st team Spirit stocks, right? I think this is a team that's on the rise. I think we've seen this a lot, uh, specifically with like CIS teams, right? Like showing up at events, showing up at majors historically. These like flash in the pan teams that showed up and then a few months later, kind of trickled on out with like a few of the key players moving forward right i think with team spirit they're on that same upward trajectory right now i think that they're in this stage where they're really feeling all the work they're putting in outside the server and they're feeling them as like tangible results in the server so i think morale is high i think the amount of preparation these guys are doing is great and I think that for the foreseeable future, it's going to be looking very good for Team Spirit. Now, the big question mark to me is if they can keep that going, right? Because think about how often, and even in these last few months, we've seen teams like Fnatic, like Mouse Sports. Everything looks real good. 
until it doesn't, and then it looks real bad. And I think, you know, the, the switch up there is like, you're still doing all the same things that got you to that point in time where everything was great, right? But but the mood and the kind of momentum and everything has shifted alongside and it. People are focused and, on you. Yeah, and, and then suddenly, right, when you're in the server, it's like, man, we're still doing the same amount of practice. We're maybe even practicing even harder, and yet the results have gotten worse. And you can't imagine how that must feel to an individual's confidence, right? So I think here for Team Spirit, a real test for this squad is can they keep this upwards trajectory going? Can they keep looking like they're improving in every one of these matchups? I don't want this squad to plateau out anytime soon. Oh, yeah. I, I think Team Spirit are going to make a good run here at this event. Harry, I love I love the passion. I love what you had to say. I love the fact that you recovered the word trajectory a few times yep, there yep. as well. It's Tra a hard one. Trajectory. Trajectory. Not be trajectory or anything else. No, no, you got it. No tractors. No ejection, you got it. Good stuff. And yes, for sure. I I, I think that's you make some very good points, right? I, I hope Spirit don't drop off and, and I hope they're not one of these flash in the pan teams. I'd love them to to keep consistent. And especially considering, you know, Navi right now and the situation they're in, getting grouped back in RTR in CIS, not getting through that region, not doing anything, losing to Hard Legion, a team from from what we saw from Hard Legion, I wasn't impressed. So I, and I didn't see that Navi game because we were casting another one. So I, I, I really don't know what happened there. But uh, yeah, kind of crazy stuff. But it'd be nice to have more CIS teams, you know, flying to the wow. top of the scene and Hugo, Spirit for sure are looking like one. We've spoke a lot about uh, Team Spirit. What are you making of, of Phase? How do you how do you feel BMAS is slotting on? And obviously, we've literally this is his second game with. Yeah. Team. So I mean, you know, but what have you made of him from like an initial eye test? Uh, I mean, well, to be fair, we've cast I've casted two maps of him, so you know, not a not a lot of not a lot. Uh, he's he. It seems like you know, Phaser leaving to, uh, him to his own devices at times in certain positions. That's cool. I like yeah. I like a player having to learn the hard way, right? Not not necessarily get the team support, but like you know, be put as like the anchor on B inner and go. Okay, your versus one of the best trained teams in the world. Have fun and like that's a great trial by fire like it might it yeah. may be hard in the short term and that's why phase maybe don't have the results here but you know that's what happened with brokey think about how phase struggled when brokey joined this team because they had that you know if anything weak link is a way of looking at it right brokey's no longer a weak link if anything he's one of the better better players in this team or at least the more consistent players in this team with that orb so yeah there's a time period for B, uh, for bmas and for sure he can uh you know as long as phase give him the the tools yeah. and the teachings, well, I'm sure he stands you, you touch upon Brokey, right? And that for me is like another good thing about FaZe. The fact that they, they, they've they just gone through the process yeah. of, of integrating like a young, inexperienced player and like, and, and figuring out both, I imagine through, through trial and error, right? Like ups and downs. Uh, of, of figuring out how to best find where Brokey slots into this squad. And so surely that's going to help give them even more insight now and, and they're going to be even more efficient at integrating a man like Bemis into this team. Um, yeah, there's a really good tweet I saw yesterday. I can't, I'm trying to remember the name of, of the team exactly, but there's a, a Latvian CSGO team that, that you know, Brokey, Bimas, Yakinda, who just joined VP, and Flarik, who was in uh, Flarik, who was in Prosto as well with uh, with Yakinda at a uh, point. You know, all of them played under this Latvian team at one point in their careers, which I think is a really cool talking point. Um, you know, for for these upcoming players who are now in such crazy brand you know, brand names and teams such as FaZe Clan and the like. So, yeah, a cool position to be in, for sure, for some of these players, especially considering BMAS is 16. I think that's another note that, uh, that kind of slips under the rug as well. You know, this guy's really, really young. And so, you know, of course, he's going to be inexperienced. And it's a great learning experience for him. FaZe 2-0 up in this game, in this map, but down by one. Here's the buy for Spirit. I this balance was given the AWP by his chopper. Nico's still scooting. Barely any util left up for FaZe. So it's coming down to these gunfights. They're just waiting for Spirit to commit and smokes up the catwalk. It's only a fake. They're back to that mid to B. Mir trying to sell this one up towards that A site. Keeps players here. Keeps Rain away from stopping that mid to B play like he's so good at. So Cold's got to deal with it from the door. The flashbang finds nothing. Brokey giving it a go. But if he dies, that's a round loss. And there it is. Spirit, they get that trade. They deal with Rain in the spawn. He tries to come through on that rotation. And Spirit, they should be able to get a bomb plant here and lock it around. Oh, it's actually kind of important there that uh, Sumdai Young was drawing the attention in towards the double doors because while Mir ducked out in through lower tunnels, the bomb was still getting in through the window. And so if Nico had swung wide, maybe he drops the bomb there. That never happens. And this leaves Beamaster and Nico 
A two on three retake. There is a flash on Nico to maybe propel them into this site. There's still money for FaZe in this follow up round, kind of. But honestly, it feels like saving these two weapons yeah. is a necessity. And so they wait for a minute. They see if Team Spirit give anything up. They're going to flash beam ass in now. And they look to go in late. They're trying to catch Team Spirit as they leave the site. And while Nico does put up the first kill, there's no more to follow. This is going to be the round for Team Spirit. Nico surviving. And, you know, getting out of there with one gun still allows a buy to come in here. Nico could drop over. You're going to have four out of the five possible rifles here over on the CT side. I actually like that round from FaZe, right? Even though they don't win it, it's a cool idea and, and it almost works. Mir was low and so he'd already exited B because of the bomb you know, timer. And so Nico leaves it till 10 seconds left before he flashes in. They both have kit. If th there's a world where FaZe get immediately two kills off of that flash on the exiting players and then just stick the bomb and Mir is too far away to stop them. So, you know, there's a world where FaZe win that. If it doesn't come through, they, they miss the shots, but now a fast B play into Brokey and Cole they drop the bomb immediately. Spirit have to commit. They have to double down here in the site. Uh, they're down by two as well. Broke flash back in for another. Drops the player at card. Chopper blinded. Finds him. But at what cost? Two on four for Spirit. I just balance holding the spawn and phase with four players inside of the B site. There's no way Spirit are getting allowed back in. World's earliest save call. It certainly could be, couldn't it? I'm not really seeing much movement. I just balance is looking pretty content back in uh, back in T spawn. Chopper though, yeah, he's edging forward uh, and then kind of realizes that maybe that's a death sentence. And it would be death by firing squad here. There's so many players just honed in on the tunnels, man. Like yeah, this is undoable, and Team Spirit know it. It's a rough round to give up, and there's nothing worse than having to save on the T side, especially when you don't have like a huge bank to fall back on, like, you know, spirit. Especially not in the is... first minute and a half of the round, right? Yeah. Like, this is a horrible one to concede on that basis as well. It's a classic to see teams run out with the bomb first, and I, I really just don't understand it. The reason you don't want to do that, here's, here's, two, here's two really good reasons. The All first right. one is... If the bomb goes out first, regardless of how the hit goes, regardless, the bomb's first. That's the first player FaZe are going to see. So they call an immediate full rotation. That's why we have four inside of B so quickly, because FaZe immediately see the bomb. They go, ah, oh, it's a commitment. You know, if, if two players rush into B and die, FaZe don't want to rotate, because it could just be a bait to get long control to, to three on five the round. And for sure, teams do that. So that's the first reason. The second reason is exactly what just happened. The bomb goes out first. He dies. They lose it. Boom, the round's lost because FaZe had the bomb and you can't you can't get it back if your spirit there, so you have to save. So there's two great reasons as to why never to put the bomb first. Um yeah, and I, I you know, I guess it hurt spirit in that round. And now they're gonna have to force by Deagles and a Galil around these save guns. Not a pretty picture. Uh, are they gonna go back to B? Not, no by the looks of it. Players going towards the site but not committing. There's only Brokey here as well. It would be the round to B rush if you are spirit but mollied and smoked. Brokey gives no window, no timing where Spirit can get into that B-bomb site safely. Does Spirit have to default? Holding long, working lower, taking Cat later, later in the round once they've cleared out the fact that there could be an AWP in play. There is, it's on Nico, as often in his hands on Dust2. He's playing on the A site right now watching Cat walk. So that means mid's open. That means Spirit can safely cross towards Cat, you know, safely is dependent on how Cold Zero chooses to play this, but right now he is staying passive, and so that gives Spirit the room to move. And FaZe know it anyway. They want this uh, this orb to find the kills. They want Spirit to walk into Nico, and that's exactly where Spirit are going right now. Oh, Nico, the confidence to just full take that flash and not move a muscle. Yeah. Oh, and he nails the shot as well. A pixel of vision for Nico. And a kill found, just balls of steel on him. Cold Zera hidden behind this smoke and they go running by. They get shot in the back. Team Spirit, they do sneak in through the tunnels. This AWP of I Disbalance is Ooh. here, but it's gonna have to do a lot. Magic's as well, waiting at this smoke, catches a man up close, Ray goes down. And yeah, FaZe, they were so preoccupied with dealing with this mid hit and with the smoke in tunnels as well. I, I just think that they thought Team Spirit wouldn't go pushing through, but they did. 
Smokes aren't walls, and so now FaZe on for the retake at a four on three. Still have a good chance that they can find this round, but this is where the AWP in the post plant can do damage. I Disbalance is going to have a bunch of players coming his way. The flash Ooh. goes in, he dodges the first man through, but does get dropped, and now it falls to Magics with this Deagle. They're already in the site, and the defuse is going to come through for FaZe Clan. So they get four on the board. If Eilish Balance shot off of that flash, if he took a shot really quickly that would have given away his position, which is probably why he didn't do it, uh, he would have got a clat. He would have got two in the window. So there was a world where that round is winnable by uh, by the likes of Spirit, because Magic's coming in on a mid flank. He misses his shot. Cold hears it. He turns around and deals with it. So nice round for FaZe. Playing very careful here in the CT side. Like they, I, I, I'd love to know if that that giving away of the B site was by design just to play retake with a man up. Like That's a good way of looking at it, right? Because alternatively, if Brokey anchors the site and stays there on his own, he might die without any kills. And, you know, that would be a three-on-three -three retake that Spirit might, li might likely win. So phase maybe by design there, I can't tell. And, uh, you know, giving up B, it works out for them. <laughs> ah, the numbers. They are always a danger. Idis Balance has 850 plus orb kills and dust too. He has 27 M4 kills and 29 org kills. That's a bit ridiculous. I imagine, yeah, you know, obviously a lot of AK kills probably there, but for the M4, he would he would rather eco a lot of the time for the orb or play SMGs. So probably pretty standard. 4-1 lead for phase, a bit of a tech timeout before we get back into the madness that is, that is this series, but that will come to a close. Third map here is Nuke. That's where FaZe are trying to get to, and they've at least put down the building blocks in this map. Oh, flashes out through long, but no one peeking on the back of it for Team Spirit. Instead, they just hold their ground, and they're going to wait. Patiently so, while the rest of the team work their way in through the lower tunnels. And now is the real long hit. That first one, that was just a rehearsal. Here it is, the live show. And Beamast, he's got a front row ticket. He's, uh, he's shut this one down with Rain alongside him. And the rest of the gang falls shortly thereafter. Mir, he's hidden himself in this little hidey hole, and he does swing out to deal with Cold Zera. But a 1v4. I don't fancy his chances here in this round. I think as well. I think Beamash just went aggressive and spotted the bomb outside of long doors. So he knows this is a valuable position to hold. He's tucked himself back in. And he's just going to keep battening down the hatches on long. Mere creeping forward. The shadow advantage is going to go in favor of Beamash here. He's going to spot the shadow ahead of time. So he is ready for that peak. Yeah, this is a great game for FaZe right now. 5-1 up, things are looking good. Spirit haven't got any answers. And, well, at least they have money in the short term. Another buy coming through. I oh, just balance on the AWP, but not being able to really put a stop to Nico. And, of course, Brokey anchoring B with the AWP as well. Can always support middle. This is a great map for FaZe, and they're showing us why. Spirit are going to go fast down mid in this one, looking for a quick cat take, and oh, will FaZe be ready for the pace? Nico's playing safe from the site instead of being up on the catwalk, so Spirit can at least get control for free. No one here to stop them. Smoke landing on the corner, but this is far from a commitment right now for Spirit. They're just trying to force out utility, and they've done a good job of that. The Molotov going down, Idis Balance holds a position with the AWP, and Spirit wait for a reaction elsewhere on the map, hoping, begging, praying that FaZe push B long mid anything else, but FaZe won't be making that mistake. And so with this B commitment, this is one of these times where Team Spirit's decision to not pressure long early can maybe actually help them out somewhat in the... The players on A are still pretty deep within the site. And so these rotations are now going to take a while to come through. Usually the CTs would be posted up over towards Cat if long control was kind of contested early on. And instead, Baze are a long way away from home. And they've already lost Brokey at B. Cold can't do anything. And this is probably just the save from Baze Clan. They're too far away. They don't really have anything to work with in this retake. And so they'll concede this second round. They'll give this one over to Team Spirit. 
Yeah, with five alive, that's a big one for Spirit, right? They get out with a lot of money and they start to build into this game. That's going to have resounding consequences. There's nothing worse than breaking a streak of CT rounds by getting one on the board, but you get it with a clutch or with a two on X and, and you don't really make any money there. You need three alive at a bare minimum to ever make profit in Counter-Strike. And, well, <laughs> Rain trying to get his pistol out the map. Careful, that's a Tech-9. That is, that is like, gold on the CT side. You don't want to lose that one, so... Rain, he won't send it off into the heavens once again. But it will be Spirit delivering themselves around. 2-5, breaking the three-round streak of phase once again. Not an issue for phase. They still save the money, and the double orb is here. It's a fast mid play for Spirit. Rain got boosted on the catwalk, so he's actually here ahead of time. He was trying to put a stop to this play. It almost looked like Spirit were going to go catwalk, but they go elsewhere instead and now try and take this one late. Are they ready for uh, Rain? Flash is good. Max is there, and Rain makes quick work of it, but the trade allowed by Mir. Nico's Flash has already faded at that point, and Spirit will trade back to a 4 on 4. Good position to be in, and getting smoked off means they've got to hold off for the time being. Gonna roast in yeah. the Molotov. He was really hoping that someone goes running around that corner quickly for Team Spirit, and they just wait. <laughs> How many mollies to face have? There's man. a tasty own medicine, Team Spirit. Not nice when the fire gets flung at you. There's a little bit extra, but this time that Molotov actually puts the smoke out in the wrong spot, and so Team Spirit can just aggress up through catwalk with it. Broki is holding this down from the crossroads. He's going to be pretty instrumental, but never mind, because in a matter of moments, both him and B must have been bested. Now, Nico up from short, trying to peek under this smoke. And as it starts to fade, he is given an angle. The bomb's going down for Catwalk. And Nico, oh, oh dear, no. he's dropped two. Left on Tamir now in a 1v1. Eight seconds left. He's clearing close, but this bomb plant has got to come through. Oh, he's just got it. Half a second left for this plant. Cold up from Catwalk and Mir. Looking for him, doesn't know that Cold is here. Swings on out, but Cold's there and nails the shot. Six on the board for FaZe at the end of this round. Yeah, those are the kills Cold are. It, it, it's just never going to miss. He's just not going to lose that round, right? You're playing a headshot angle. Cold knows where you are. You've just planted. You're trapped. You can't move. You, you've already lost. It's Cold on the other side. And yeah, FaZe, a much needed round there just to keep the, the momentum in their favor, right? Nico coming up with a huge play from the flank. I would imagine that, you know, with Spirit going for cat executes, they would have someone like Magix, who who often just patrols the B tunnels area, holding on to that lower position to stop Nico from going for such a fast flank. But because he dies early, there's no one there for Spirit to, to stop it. Fast play up cat again for Magix. He's been at the, the forefront of all of these pushes here for Spirit and not always, uh, you know, favorable for him. Faze shutting down this key player for Spirit has certainly made this map a little bit more favorable for them. Rain is playing close. Spirit with four up on Cat. Maybe looking for this full commitment right now. Sundar Young in lower, covering that position that really lost Spirit the last round, thanks to Nico. Talking of which, he's up on the A site right now with a Molotov and ready to pop that one once Spirit showed their hand. Yeah, this time they've doubled up inside of the site. And Rain's actually going to go aggressive. He can catch them throwing utility. He can do so much damage. Magix does come in with the trade, but he's burning in this Molotov. Fully Flash puts up another on the board. And he's secured this A-Site single-handedly. Magix leading the charge, putting up a double. Now the bomb plant coming through, and FaZe left in a three-on-four retake. And Hugo, you pointed this out at the beginning of the cat take. This time they've left Sundar Young down in the lower tunnels to hold for this fast cat flank. Never going to come through. Sunday Young is never going to be needed to watch Catwalk. And all that does is give info for Spirit. Now they know where FaZe are. FaZe are CT and Long. There we go. That's that's it. You know, if they're not retaking Cat, they're either saving or they're CT and Long. And so Spirit have every bit of information in this round and no reason to, to hunt FaZe, not, especially when their economy is yet to be established.
Nice entries from Magix as well. Just runs up Catwalk as fast as he can. Doubles up into the site, dropping Rain and Nico. Not easy players to overwhelm on your own, but Spirit, they're going to do it. Up to three. This is going to be a definitely more competitive map, though. You can already tell. And, you know, if FaZe take it and push us to a third, I think that's kind of what we want here. That final map and Nuke being a decider. FaZe, can they do that? Up in the lead right now, but with Spirit nipping at their heels. Oh, and an attempt at the long play. We haven't really seen much of this from Spirit. The one time they've attempted it, and it didn't really end too well. So this time they get Magix out behind the blue bin. And this is good for, for Team Spirit, because he was never spotted. This Molly's going to go on in, and that will give up the, the aim of the game. Magix now, this goes from actually being a benefit to a bit of a, a, bit of a problem. They've got him cornered. They've got him Ooh. trapped. They're spamming this smoke, and he's trying the best he can to make something of this position. Really, if he had managed to get anything done, it's an achievement oh. in and of itself. And oh, Magix, what in? What? How's he done that? That should have never been a good situation for him. But somehow he's taken down all three along. And oh, he's in with a fourth. Come on, Magix, let's get it. Four kills to his name. He has just popped off. He had been pretty quiet thus far on dust, and we were hoping that Magix hadn't fallen off, but no way, Jose. He's on for the ace. He's moving in towards this B site, and he's hungry for it. I love it. Spirit, they're setting him up. They're saying, go on, Magix, man. Go get it. You've earned it. Let's get this ace. Team Spirit, fourth on the board, locked in as a guarantee. Everyone's yeah. left the A-bomb site. They've but, got him trapped. Yeah, they've got him trapped now. They moved into lower tunnels. I was getting a bit scared. Here it is. Yeah. Magic gets the ace. And there it is, Sunday baby. Young. Four on the board for Team Spirit. Sunday Young just runs in and, and fully get down Mr. President's that kill. He, he just takes every bullet and lets Magic just ace it. Man, what a series. Like so good. Oh. I've loved watching him. And Hugo, me and you have spoke about Magic's actually a lot, like outside yeah. of the broadcast. And it really does feel like every time we see this, this, He's 16, by the way, this very, very yeah. young guy in the server. It feels like each game you just see the improvements from. Oh dear, phaser boosting. It's a common occurrence and Mir's ready for it. He's gonna drop one. Artist Balance finding rain as well with the AWP. And there's still a third man in the middle in the form of Nico. He's tagged up. Roki's got the Zeus in B. Nico's removed from the round. That's actually cold rather. Nico's on the right side, but he's not gonna have a much better time at it. Another kill for Spirit. Add it to the tally, Broki. Just a bullet away from death, and they will deliver it. Five rounds for Spirit. And Harry, this 6-2 uh, this lead, this 5-1 lead, whatever it was, both of those things, it's no longer there. Spirit have certainly warmed up into this game. They put five rounds on the board. And FaZe are coming back in with another crucial buy. But even then, still pretty weak. Yeah, it's lacking any orbs. You got the baby orb on Nico. Yeah, they give up long this time. They throw the molly and they just they abandon <laughs> it. Probably a yeah. good idea, FaZe. But, uh, that's, the, mate, that's, that's the insane part, though. FaZe, they had long every one of these rounds. Up until Magix gets that 4K, they've had that real estate for free uh, and yeah. Team Spirit. That was all because the one time they attempted it, they got wrecked. Well, you can see the ramifications this have had. FaZe are like, yeah, maybe, maybe we don't fight Magix. At his proving grounds at long. But that's just going to bait Spirit back into the position that, that, you know, not only worked well in the last round, but it's just a great position to take as a T. Uh, you know, if you want to hit that A bomb site, if you want to come in on that cat split. Right now, no split. I just balance holding with the AWP and lower. This is a bit of a weird one because it's good now as he holds, but once it gets into a post part, that AWP could become a bit of a problem here for Spirit. Rain is in the smoke. He has flash through, but he doesn't commit. I think he was blinded by BMAS's smoke because he just hangs out in the spawn. BMAS dies and rain gets spammed that's certainly not how they wanted it to go at least no flash assist so take back what i said about that flash from bmas it's just rain deciding not to commit and if anything that gets him caught through the spam spirit five two up right now and forget how that awp was lurking in lower because it doesn't even come into play in this round spirit are hunting the kills they're hounding him down cold with one off the flash no more brokey trapped and spirit they should have him locked in even though he gets away with a frag they are pushing for both positions at once. man i love this from spirit like it, it's gone from them being like okay mr phase we will respect you here on dust to just Oh, you want to save? You want to, You want us to show mercy? Ha. Nah, we are. We are coming for you. 
and we are taking these guns away whether you like it or not there's no money for phase once again and you can feel the swing in momentum yeah. in this game i can taste hard then I don't know. I don't know how you fix that, but it's definitely there. I can assure you of it. In this round, it's just pistols for phase. They're stacked up along. They get flashed in. Magics does get removed immediately. Amir trapped Ooh. out here. I just balance coming in to try save the day. And Team Spirit, uh, uh, the they left the bomb. They got to go back. That's fine, kind of, I guess. But they yeah. Gonna get out Ooh. of there. Oh, it gets a little bit worrying. Now, while all this has gone on, Sam Young has secured B. And they know that these two players are at long. Uh, th th there's two ways you could have gone about that, right? Just rotate out safe, which I definitely think is the right decision, or you keep fighting to deny the guns, but that's so risky. Yeah. And instead, they leave I disbalance to try and hold on to mid later Ooh, yeah. in this round. Even he decides, yeah, maybe I don't give them the orb. Maybe I don't give them the two on two. And yeah, for phase, now they save because a two on three retake with no armor and just this one smoke and a flash that they didn't have in the retake if they went for it. Uh, it is just pretty much undoable. And even then, like, they're thinking they can save. Can they save? That's the question. Spirit have 10k uh, plus on three players. So they have no issue with hunting down these guns and throwing everything at the problem that is FaZe Clan. Trying to save on long. By miss will be missed with a nice off angle here. Should have the drop on SDY as long as he's ready for the punch, but he swings and that gets him caught. That's one kill going the way of Spirit. SDY may as well look here for Rain, but he will surely die if he peaks his position. Rain has an off angle above the boxes and he will get one. Saving the AK on a 3k for Rain. Nice round, but having very little value in the long term because we've just got a couple left of the half, right? FaZe, they're going to be able to fully buy here. That AK certainly frees up some money to spend on utility and double orbs here. But Spirit, they've taken the lead from what was a 6-1 lead, or 6-2 lead, rather. Five in a row for Spirit. How much more have they got in the tank? Oh, high disbalance with the spawn for long. He has annihilated BMAS on the peak. Now, Nico's pushed up aggressively at Cat. Sunday Young is holding for it, but Nico is not deep enough. And so I disbalance. Could be in danger. Whoa. Nico sliding forward, removes him from the round, and Sunday Young never sees a thing. That is... A bit of an unfortunate crossfire that was set up, right? Just with that angle that's available to Nico because he's crouching, never spotted by the player in lower tunnels. And so FaZe, they might be about to right their wrongs. They've got themselves a man advantage. There's still Chopper and Magic's left standing in this round. A two on four required. The easiest round they've ever been a part of. And especially not with Cold in this position down in the lower tunnels. Magic's has retrieved Idis Balance's orbs. Orb from his corpse. That's why I said orbs. Put the words together, didn't I? But now can Magic's put this round together? Because, my word, the pieces of it are everywhere. Mostly pieces of his teammates, but he might join them here, Harry, in that graveyard. Ooh, he gets spotted. Gets the bomb back under control. Scared of the close cap, but there's no one here for phase. They're playing the bomb sites. Again, needs to get the orb, and he does. Swapped out to the AK. We know he can orb. He showed us back on train. So is he going to use it again here? There's a second Molotov there, buddy. You did throw it. So you know, watch out. All right, let's go, Magic. He's gone back onto the orb. He's still looking to get into this site. He spots the man at ramp. That's the thing, right? Phase, they're just not going to peek because they don't need to. And if they give him a kill, that's how they run the risk in this round. Now, with eight seconds and he's getting flanked from all over yet, he kind of wanted to die there. I mean, Money's plentiful. It really didn't make a yeah, difference that's at true. all in any regard to, to I, Phase, to him, to no one. I think so. I think he'd still... Oh, well, yeah, it's round 15. It doesn't matter at all. Yeah, they bought a triple yeah, up here, Harry. That's how rich Spirit are. Triple up. They're not even yeah, buying the it. auto snipers. They just want to spam with that one-shot capability. And if they hit a tag, then a B-Rush can come through. They're actually taking them out of spawn. Only one staying. That's SDY. He's going to swap it out for an AK. Magic's looking for the long pick. And again, and again, and again, Spirit find it every time. A man advantage, oh. Idis Balance. Oh dear, BMAS has been uh, oh. giving away his position, but he does get the kill for it. Idis Balance tries to fight. Uh, maybe a flashbang could have been used there for Spirit to guarantee that kill, because if anything, it's just given away back into the round. Ooh, cold holding mid, tags SDY. Pushing through the smoke is Brokey. And well, maybe B uh, and the tunnels have been pretty empty this game for Spirit, but that is a real risk to throw into round number 15. It's going to cost FaZe a lot, as now Spirit attempted towards his side of the map. Cold is here with a lot of utility, and he's going to dump it all as he while he can. Spirit, do they want to commit here into a one-man hold? Probably. 
Yeah, I mean, even then, right, Cole's playing it from the window. He's in a position where he can try fall back and set up for the retake. Him here with the AWP is great. He can go for this one fight, and if he solidifies Ooh, the three on three, then he doesn't have to risk it anymore. He can play for the retake. Oh. He tries to peek through the molly to snatch one away, and it just doesn't come through. But this is where the flank from Rain, the man topping the charts right now for phase, could look to do some damage. That's molly not quite deep enough to force Chopper out of position. Oh, yes, it is. It actually is. And that's him removed. Molly burns him out. Magic Samir. The two M's. Let's see if M and M can wrap this one up quick. Wow, I, I mean, you know, this game is really heating up, Hugo. We have got a blinder on our hands. And if you are tuning in, then boy, are we in for a good second half of play. If this first half has anything to go by. Nico just got USP tag headshot from the mid peak. And now Team Spirit oh, go aggressive what? on the back of it. I, I don't even know. That is wild. It's an immediate fight in mid from Team Spirit. Nico, the man, yeah, look, he, you, <laughs> he's like shaking his mouse around because I don't think he can believe the start to this game. He's playing with a Glock in T-Spawn and it's not like, you know, they had a little fight with one another. They both got to exchange some bullets. No, just first bullet down mid, headshots him. I can't say I blame Nico for being a little bit triggered after that one. I certainly left FaZe in a bit of a predicament here, Harry, in a two on four. Spirit, they already clawed the lead back from an advantage half from FaZe. And this pistol was just going to put them in pole position to go over the line. Idis Balance, waiting for this fight. Doesn't want to overcommit, of course. Still a losable round, but that's the bomb, and so the pressure is really on. And if Spirit can drop it, well, that might just be the round in and of itself. Nico tagged up from earlier in a one on four. And as good as Nico is, I think this one is maybe a little bit unattainable. Spirit are going to push mid, and Nico is playing very passive, but they don't know he's tunnels, and they're not going to be hunting him. STY checks it. Ooh, dink right back, though. Nico returns the favor, and maybe Spirit needs to be a little careful after all. It's just they're everywhere. So, ooh, okay, one down, three to go. And there's the repeat from Sumdai Young. So no more for Nico in that round. Nine now on the board for Spirit. No bomb plot, not even close for FaZe in that round there. So you yeah, might just see them take an eco in this round. Uh, it really does depend how heavily they're weighting this AWP on Baruki, right? Like, because they could force here with the goal of getting that AWP out into... Uh, into round 19, but they just want to get it done with rifles and get this by as fast as they can. And I, I, I kind of prefer that decision, right? This is a very, very close game. You don't want to be delaying your purchase too much to give this momentum over the team spirit any more than it already is. And so they'll set up over here towards Catwalk. Nico and the rest of the gang moving on up. He's the rear guard while the rest of the guys bring up the front. And now, now look to run boost the man on over. Mimas. He's been bestowed. Oh, it's a double run boost. Let's go. Yeah. The F-16s are ready. They take it off. They fly on in. And here we go. Idis Balance with this MP9. Nade does good damage. And, oh, well, that's not ideal. The Glocks actually do find him. A bomb plant might be available here to phase. In fact, it is guaranteed at this point in time. It goes down. And even though pretty much all the kills, and now all the kills do come through for Team Spirit, a team ace for Team Spirit, no less. And it's still a bomb plant for FaZe and a round that they had really nothing in. So they're yeah. pretty happy with that. That's pretty common though. It, you know, for a CT team there, the, the, the way to approach that safely is just give away the bomb plant and play retake. And you pretty much never lose that round unless FaZe like have the Eagles and hit a couple of sick shots on the entry. Um, you know, Spirit try and contain phase and try and stop the bomb getting planted. That's That would firstly require you to play on the site. And the danger of that is, is you know, suddenly you die and phase have a gun in a post plant and they can win the round off that. So Spirit just keep the distance. They know that phase can't secure any weaponry if they play retake. And that's a safer option. 10-7, you know phase are buying anyway. All you've done is make that buy a little bit better by playing retake. And that allows Brokey DAWP. But it goes both ways. I disbalance, armed and dangerous despite lacking the armor. Taking that orb long side. It's gonna be FaZe taking Catwalk right now. Chopper's in CT, can't put a stop to this, but we will need to see our disbalance go back towards the car to assist Chopper if this A play does come through. Ouch. <laughs> I feel
feel like almost every round I've seen an age just get thrown on in that does 50 damage yeah. to someone on phase. And it's Rain getting tagged, you know, that's quite a decent man to do damage too. He's leading the way by a pretty big margin for FaZe right now. I feel like with HEs, the longer you hold an HE in a round, the more valuable it is, right? Like, you know, because the longer the round goes on, the more likely you know where your opponents are playing from. And so, you know, those targeted grenades can be so much more effective. I disbalanced, flashes himself in continues to take up this long position. They've entrusted Chopper with short uh, and with good reason. He's doing a pretty good job right now. Now, Nico is still close Ooh. and they weren't ready for him to be in the site. Brokey's gotten up through Cat and Nico could actually do a hell of a lot here as long as he keeps buying time. Does eventually get dealt with. Brokey's left in the clutch and the rap has come in from Catwalk. Team Spirit just claps in on phase. The moment they get the intel that Nico is still inside of the site and that this bomb is likely rotating through Cat to join him, they pull both those players away from B. They come up Cat a little bit later in the round and ultimately FaZe just aren't ready for it. So it's only going to be Deagles here, maybe some armor behind them for the FaZe clan as they try and deny a 12th to Team Spirit with a real focus on the investment in this coming round. It's a B rush for FaZe here, or by the looks of things at least. There will be Molotovs that land, but actually one misses, and that's just going to give FaZe a path into B. It hasn't dropped his, he's got his gun out, and maybe that's better as he looks to find fights. Rain dropped, the second man in is made quick work of, and there's another rifle on the side. FaZe haven't even had to see. They will deal with it though. Nico, of course, getting two kills with the Deagle. It wouldn't be an eco round if that wasn't happening. And now he's trapped at B right now. There's guns all around him, but they're actually closer in the site, and that smoke allows the cross, but he's taken so long that Spiro are already in the tunnels. You can see Chopper is not waiting to allow Nico the plant. He's just gonna try and put a stop to him, and there it is. Quick flank in that B bomb site. Nico not giving the room to move, and, and that's that's good for Spirit, right? You don't want to allow a player of, of Nico's caliber to get comfortable, to get a weapon, to plant, and then get to pick his fights in a 1v3. You just want to shut him out before he's ready for you. I kind of hope we see FaZe go back to a B play there, right? They were able to get that on the back of Nico a load into a, uh, what felt like a doable scenario, right? And I know you can't bank on things like Miss Molly's every round, but this B site is so often like a bit of a light in, in, in a dark game for teams on this B side, right? Like you can find a round on the back of it. It can re-energize you and it can also get in the head of team spirit somewhat. Um, even if FaZe won't be, I don't think they're going to make the mistake of just rushing it out of spawn. It just feels like such a throwaway round that you're gambling on whether Spirit have a stack or have utility or, or really gambling on the first like engagement in that round to go your way. What FaZe can do is just default towards Catwalk and drop into a late mid to be something of the sort, right? Draw Spirit away from that B-bomb site, get them in middle so you can win a fight so you don't have a double B setup. And it can favor FaZe a lot more than just rushing B off spawn. Yeah, I think they're going to try and do this CT drop with yeah. Rain, and that's exactly it, right? He goes down, but then he goes down in, in, in a more literal sense of the word as well. He gets dropped. Now, Cold has opened up in middle and Brokey's followed. Sam Dai Young is looking for these mid fights and he swings Ooh. out from the door, but is immediately shut down. Magic's and I disbalance, they've got to save. And so FaZe, yeah, they get, they go ahead, they throw in this A fake early on, they drop a man into CT, and amidst all that chaos, they split the B bomb site, yeah. and they find a round. So and this is something now, like, you know, for, for Team Spirit, this is a problem they're going to have to deal with, because for FaZe, on the back of that kind of eco, and seeing what was uh, what what laid in store at that B site, they've identified some weaknesses. And so Team Spirit, they've got to plug this hole. Our phase are going to try and take advantage of it. They are playing for exits, and they will be given fights here by the looks of things if FaZe exit towards CT or T. But actually, yeah, I think FaZe have read this one. Nico's coming in on the flank, and he should be able to drop this orb. There's no way Idis Balance is ready, but he's on the ramp, avoiding Nico. And yeah, good call. Nico's sneaking. He can start running when the bomb explodes because the sound is so loud that there's no one that can hear him. It doesn't matter. Idis Balance is dead. Free kill for Nico. Won't find the second here. The time will expire, but it's still a big kill for FaZe, getting rid of that AWP. And there we see the value of that mid split, right? Even though Rain drops CT and dies him easily, Spirit knew what was going on. The fact that FaZe are coming from middle, they, they you know, are able to use the orb to take down the window player, despite Spirit having a double B setup, which is so good if you're entrenched. If you get baited into fighting in middle and you don't win that fight, FaZe always are going to take you on B. So... 
Yeah, nice round for them. The Orbs are back out for Spirit, though, despite the loss in the previous round. And Mir has found great effect dropping Rain early. He's been the best player for FaZe in this, in this entire game. So for Rain to die first in back-to-back -back rounds for FaZe, that certainly isn't good for them. But now they've got nothing. They're down by two. They just have to rush B. Sundar Young is alone, trying to stay alive as long as he possibly can, get as much value from that utility, but so will FaZe, burning him out from the back of the bomb site. It's a double B. It's the Wolf Sun gamers here for FaZe Clan, looking to two on three this round. Yeah, once again, a heavy emphasis on this tunnel's rotation from Team Spirit. The mass is going to try and hold the line, but he gets shut down immediately. Brokey now, one on three. Let's see what you're made of. Swings on wide and offers up the peak to that double stack in tunnels. I just, I kind of really like. Gonna let go. <laughs> I, I, I really like the way that Team Spirit play for these B retakes, man. Like they just set I just balance up to wait in mid and hold for any peaks out from the door and window, and then come in a bit later in the round. And they put like a real emphasis on tunnels. And I yeah. feel like tunnels is like a position that usually, you know, you kind of leave to to one man or two players if, if you have enough to sacrifice that, right? So they can trade off of each other. But with Team Spirit putting such an emphasis on it, FaZe, they always have yeah. just one man holding tunnels and it offers up these 2v1s for Team Spirit. It's worth thinking about the rounds that FaZe have had the B-bomb site, right? They, they've not had enough players to play the tunnels. And this time, uh, they've got five alive. They're going to run it. They're going to rush it. And there's only one man here. The flick with the AWP will not connect. And this is around where FaZe can play tunnels. The point I was going to make was FaZe are often in these you know, two or three alive situations. And so you can't dedicate a tunnels play. You have to commit to the site. And that allows Spirit to flank so fast. But because FaZe have more players alive than Spirit in this round, they do play tunnels. And Cold Zero, he's in spawn. He's denying that T-Rap. He also won't let them come through tons uh, once he gets in right, the right position. And that's a round for FaZe Clan. The only rounds they're winning, really, are on that B-bomb site. I say really, definitely. That's two rounds in this B site for FaZe. Everything else has gone the way of Spirit. And even when FaZe have gone B, they've been shut out sometimes. So, you know, it, there's no consistency here. There's nothing to fall back on if you're FaZe other than B. And Spirit know that that's what you want to do. So I likely expect to see another heavy setup towards that site. Will FaZe just want to keep, you know, pounding B? Or do they have something else up their sleeve? Are they going to have a better spawn? No, it's just continued B spawn. So why not take what you've been given? Maybe it's a sign from above. Brokey with some crucial entries into that B bomb site. And Spirit, another rifle round, but this will be their last. If FaZe get double digits now, this game truly turns on. And Spirit's money turns off, giving FaZe the chance to make the scoreline ever close. He's getting wrecked by flashbangs. Oh, speaking of wrecked by flashbangs, look at this long take. The flashes just rain over high in supply, and I Disbalance was never able to get a kill off as a result. They lose Magix early on. Team Spirit once again a man down. Oh, mid push from mid, oh, and he lands the no scope. Brokey was not Why? ready for it. Now, Cold is holding on to the top of mid, but he's not going to be ready for this double push up catwalk. However, also, B Mass down in lower tunnel. Sundar Young just checks it, just turns at the perfect timing. And FaZe, it was looking like a very good start to this round. Nico took an opener. They had players aggressing in mid, but the responses are here from Team Spirit. And now it's them with the man advantage. They've also got FaZe trapped to a degree. Sundar Young yeah. has cleared out lower tunnels and the upper tunnels and is now playing mid. He solidified that there was no one else at B. And so Team Spirit are just solidifying this A side play as best they can. They've got three players here. Sundar Young in the bottom of mid for a fast rotation. This is a very hard round for phase now. And these shots missing for me. He follows up with a second, but the orb's getting chased down by Nico. Three kills and immediately traded. Four in the round for Nico. He needed the ace, and well, that's just too much to ask of one man. The trades are good. Mir finding a double with the orb. Three in the round. And man, Spirit have been playing by the percentages on the CT side, Harry. They've been playing very passive, not been giving picks away to phase. So the fact that you know, finally we get a round where they're disadvantaged and Mir just runs through a door smoke and no scope someone in the middle. Like that's something we've not seen for Spirit in any capacity in this series. They've never felt the need to do that. And so FaZe get completely hounded, blindsided by that play. And why wouldn't they? Now FaZe need a solution. They've got to rush long through this fire, through the smoke, and they get a kill with it, dropping magics. A big opening frag for FaZe. Where will they go with it?
Well, they immediately pumped the brakes, and I'm imagining this is because, you know, they know that Team Spirit is showing that in response to losing a man, they will gladly go aggressive and try and pull it back. So FaZe now is sitting on their laurels, hoping that someone offers this kill up, and oh, BMAS has given away his position. Now Mir's looking to pressure him, and there's a lot of guys Whoa. down here in the lower tunnels for BMAS to try and deal with. He's isolated two of these fights, and he's just common, right? Like, I, I've got one. There's another guy chasing me at the very, very most right now. In this moment of time, there's two players at this A site. And so, FaZe, they're happy with these odds. They're happy with these numbers. They're going to try and survive the cross, and they will get by. Rain isn't so lucky, but Nico will deliver the kills in the site. And this leaves Sundai Young all alone once again. Only this time, overwhelming odds against him. FaZe looking like they're going to put this 10th round up on the board. They're even hunting down some die young. They want to take everything away. They know that they've broken Team Spirit's money on the back of this round. Ooh, Ooh. this guy's nuts. Base the orb shot with a jiggle with a little hop around the corner. The orb's even going to have to back up. You can see the money for FaZe, right? They just win that one round off the back of a rush and they don't have money to fall back on. So losing another player here would be of serious uh, economic consequence. And well, FaZe, the accountants have been on check and they've run the numbers. They told FaZe to play safe. Uh, this save will come through. SDY getting away with his gun, but you'll notice the money of Spirit, Harry. That was a big breaking round for FaZe as they've reset Spirit coming into this round. Back and forth affair with Spirit not getting clean rounds. And here's the result of it. They have to force. There's nothing else they can do. 1,400 a player, no reason to eco. It would be a double and it still will be after this force. Yeah, and it's back to long for FaZe. They've started to have a lot of success towards this side of the map. Now, in response to this, Mir going aggressive up into the top of mid. Once again, this fight down in lower tunnels. And it is this immediate two-man advantage for FaZe. Spirit throwing a lot of aggression at FaZe in these past few rounds. I hope that doesn't dig them a hole here. I hope when they go back into the rifle rounds in about two rounds time, they, they fall back into what was working on the CT side uh, because you know these aggressive rounds are exactly what FaZe want you to do. They've just been holding. Brokey's still in spawn at the mini mark and he's getting kills down the mid doors. So yeah, like obviously in these rounds, it doesn't really matter. Spirit can afford to just throw bodies at the problem. And if they lose it, oh well, it's what we we're all expecting anyway. But when they get guns, they need to tuck in tighter. That gun getting spotted on B. FaZe are just going to commit to the long take, and this will be an 11th round. Yeah, there's guns to be saved at least. A little something to fight with in this eco round that's looming for Team Spirit. And yeah, no, I'm inclined to agree with you, Hugo. Right? I think the reason why the aggression worked in, in, in the round a few ago was because it wasn't really something that FaZe had run into yet. Uh, and especially, I think, with these lower tunnel pushes, these have become all too predictable now for Team Spirit. There's always a man, like, not... I, I don't know, like, the first few times we saw it, right, they were in positions where they could get caught. They were having to hold, like, lower and upper and, like, pivoting between the two. Whereas now, they just hold the tunnels and they wait for this kill to get delivered to them. I disbalance is really threading the needle here, and yeah, not successfully. They do find it, they do deal with it, they take away these guns, and this is going to leave Team Spirit with nothing but vanilla pistols in this round. The first tack pause used for Team Spirit. In this series as well, yeah. right? Like, they've just not felt pressured across this one. If you did miss that opening map, Spirit's pick as well. They 16-7 phase on train. FaZe's least played map, except for Vertigo, which is their insta ban. And Spirit show them that they need to be, uh, you know, fear fearful or feared of... Spirit needs to be feared, Harry. That's what I'm trying to say. Jesus. 14-11. Mir's last six months have been superb. He has a marginally higher rating than Nico over that period. Obviously, again, we're going back to the fact that Spirit, they have been playing the CIS region a lot. They have been playing lower tier teams and phase, so no surprise that stats are going to be somewhat elevated. But the results have been there. Mir has been excellent, and he is right now in the server over Nico, 24 kills. So, you know, it's not just uh, it's not just the numbers that you know can paint a, a false pretense. It's actually the reality. Spirit 14-11 up and a map up in this series. Late cross to B. They have a stack with the USPs. This is almost 
certainly phases round. And Bmas, he's been holding this tunnels pretty well, but this time, yeah, he spots four. He just runs right out of there. He wants nothing to do with it. Could get pounced on by Mia in the doors, waiting for that play. The smoke lands. Bmas gets away with a kill, but they're going to run with their knives out, looking to hunt him down. Uh, no, 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 not allowed. Not on my watch. Phase. They get rid of those ecos. They don't let it happen. But I like the uh, I like the vigor anyway for Spirit. Coming back in with a rifle round here. And this is do or die for Spirit, right? They were in control of this game at one point. They were leading very dominantly. That is no longer the case. Phaser in control of the momentum. This T side has picked up in the last six or seven rounds. And this is one of Spirit's last two full buys in this game before overtime as a potential. Yeah, it's going to be a grind to the victory for Spirit if they do want to pick this up. There is a lot of money available to FaZe, so they are not worried in that essence. It's crunch time now. Team Spirit. Desperately trying to keep victory within their grasp. And over here towards Cat, there's a double setup between I Disbalance and Chopper. And this is going to leave them available to come back and help Magix. Now, actually, we, we've seen Team Spirit get betrayed by this exact same setup a few times on their CT side of Dust. Magix hides behind this box and doesn't actually really peek for info. He, instead, he just waits till they get close. But I've seen this betray him countless times. So let's see if that's the same case now. Yeah. He gets bested almost immediately. And now these short players, they've got to react so fast. Like the, the, the T's are already in the site. So you really can't offer much up. Yeah, it, it's one that, you know, I've seen Team Spirit run this a lot, and I feel like I still have yet to see it work for them in, in, in the method that they try and do it. Yeah, we need the AWP on A, man. I don't know why Spirit have, have felt the need to put Idis Balance in every position but that, like, long cross. He was there earlier in the half. He was hitting the shots he needed. He was going, falling back on long, playing retake on A. But we've just not really seen any of that from Spirit. And, uh, yeah, this AWP's not really had too much effect in this second half. So it'd be nice to see Idis Balance find, uh, well, <laughs> not that. Bullet to the head. Oh, dear, Rain. He wants everyone. He wants all the kills. And... SDY trying to save the AWP. He has got cover from Mir. Oh dear, but look at that lower chase. SDY not getting away with this one. You would assume he's going to go up to the top. And Nico will take a little off the top. A headshot from the AK and no AWP save today. And when I said a, a minute ago, this is one of Spirit's last two rifle rounds in regulation. Well, now that is more true than ever. They're broken here. They've got an eco for 14-14. If they lose that, they've got a force against 15. Yeah, usually, right? So whenever we see Magix play that spot, it seems like the idea is, because whenever I've seen it do it before, he drops that smoke actually on the ramp, not on the site in the fashion that we saw him do it there. But but even whenever he's done that, right, he'll, he'll try and like take the fight around the smoke to give himself like a bit of a, a bit of a one way almost because he's got the high ground. But I always just see it whenever that happens, it feels like he gets awkward from long because the smoke isn't covering it. So yeah, it's, I'm not like a big fan of it. I think... Uh, I'd love to see Team Spirit go back to something a bit more standard. Now, they get Brokey down into the pit in this round, but the, the AK of Mir is here. Brokey's opened up B, not Brokey, rather. B Mass has opened up B in the meantime. And Nico's still holding on to Long. Whoa. He's got this one under wraps. Some die young while he does get the kill. Is left in a 1v2. But the B site already fallen. He's thinking about saving. The fact that Bemis gets that B opener just saved FaZe against that eco, right? We just had Idis Balance hiding car. It gets Molly by FaZe. The Molly doesn't spread. And FaZe assume it's clear. Mir also moves into that position and they double stack car. And FaZe almost walk into that A bomb site. But luckily, Bemis with a big entry. Nico, uh, or Rain rather, takes the bomb to join him. Nico stays on long to hold onto the guns. And yeah, okay, he gets a couple. He gets traded and sets his team up for the win. And that's exactly where we are right now. An orb saved for Sundai Young and phase up to 14. That could have gone very, very wrong if they committed to the A site right there. Phase. They have come alive near the end of this game. They still want Nuke in this series, the third and final map. You might just get their spirit. This is it. Like, forget overtime at this point. You've got to be focused on this next round. This is everything for spirit. A bare minimum. You could lock in 15. You can get that map match series point and guarantee yourself bonus rounds if things go wrong in the follow-up. And FaZe have full money. So they're going to be buying both of these rounds regardless of how they go. So this is do or die for spirit right now. Maybe time for attack pause. And, well, a tech one will do as well. A quick break before we get back into round number 29. It's good to see the phase that we wanted today, Harry, here in this server, right? Train, a little bit sleepy, a little bit slow to start, but right now they seemed oiled up and ready to go.
Yeah, this is wild. You know, we wanted it to be close, and the fact that FaZe have been able to chain together these last four consecutively has certainly given us that. There's an overtime on the cards, there's a third map on the cards, and both of them feel likely. You know, I think even if Team Spirit are able to get this round in the bag, as we've been saying, you know, the, the money is just not a problem yeah. for FaZe. So it really is a grind. And if then Team it... Spirit want to keep this in their favor, it's, it's harder than ever. It's no longer one of these games where you win the round that gets you 15, and then, you know, FaZe are coming in with like three AKs, a Galil, and a Scout. You know, no, they're, they're fine. They can have anything they want ever. So it's a very tough spot to be in for Spirit. And not only is that the case for FaZe, but it's the opposite for Spirit. If they don't win this round clean, if they get out in a one-on-one -on -one or two players alive, they're not going to be able to afford everything, Harry. They'll, they'll get guns or get rifles, but that util, the kit, these double AWPs as well, non-existent for Spirit. So yeah, it's about winning this round and winning it cleanly. Otherwise, FaZe, more likely than not, are going to take us to nuke. That's where I'm leading right now with five rounds in a row for FaZe and seven out of the last nine. Spirit, what do they want to do with this money? Do they buy the second orb? They have the cash for it. I'd, I'd love to see two orbs here, right? Put a solo orb on B, run that triple long setup, deal with these faster plays from FaZe. Try and have an orb watching Catwalk if you can, if the if the long play doesn't come through. But th that's the thing. It's like, what are FaZe going to do? They've had so long to construct a strategy in this pause. They can go anywhere, Harry. We've seen successful B takes. We've seen fast cat takes. We've seen FaZe abuse long all game long. They don't have a spawn for it, though, this time. Brokey does with the AWP, no one else. So we still might see that AWP go for the pick here. There's just so much available for FaZe on Dust2. And 14-14, the comeback finds success. Can they push it over the line? Well, the big question for me is where is Idris Balance heading with this orb? He's taking it over towards long, but not for a peak. FaZe, in the meantime, they've heavy aggressed down through mid, and they've already got quite the foothold. This round has barely been live for a matter of seconds, and already they're down through cat and mid. So FaZe, lots of map control taken early on, and this has set them up nicely. Already a lot of the utility is gone for Team Spirit as well. So they are really riding on the coattails of the right players being in the right place at the right time. And that's a good start. Nico will respond to leave this in a four on four. I disbalance, smites down another with this AWP. And there's more players coming his way before all is said and done. Trying oh. to swing this and he gets the collateral brokey tagged. Not finished off by the AWP, not the killing blow, but enough damage for Team Spirit nonetheless. 15 on the horizon and I disbalance takes a tag of his own. That's his cue to get out of this uh, this long position and leave this four on two open to Team Spirit. Nico coming in late on a long wrap. The only man they know about was this AWP of I Disbalance. Magix was an unknown entity and he's tucked in at the blue bin, Ooh, tries dear. to peek, but now he's trapped. The Molly gonna force him out into the open. Nico jiggling, wiggling. Someone's gonna get oh. this kill and it's Nico to deliver it. Brokey. And Nico, they've got this down from a two on two now to a 2v1. Mir, the only man left standing. One kill to his name already in this round. The bomb dropped up on Catwalk and he's holding for a late mid play phase. They've got to go grab this bomb and Nico going to be the man to get it. Oh, this is... He's hearing Harry. He's got the audio. He knows the footsteps. I don't know. Here, Brokey's on catwalk. I think is he crashed? He's crashed. You think? Which is kind yeah, of. Yeah, I was wondering why he's still holding I'm like, CT. Yeah, he's really committed to this. Yeah, no, that, this is too committed. Uh, this is not him saving. This definitely looks like a crash. Maybe it's why we had the extended technical timeout earlier. Was it me who crashed earlier when we when we did have that as well? I'll double check because uh, did have it, but. Uh, yeah, not really what you want. No, we had some Dae Young internet issues earlier, so I don't know really what this is, but it's going to be a lost round. Mir crashes from the server at 15-14, 27 kills deep in a one-on-two against two players on 20 health. That was like everything for Mir. That was a clutch painted for him, and he's going to crash. It doesn't get worse than that, Harry. It really doesn't. That is a horrible way to potentially lose this entire map. And yeah. because the round was like, because damage was done, nothing Spirit can do about it. They have to accept it. Man, that is heartbreaking. That's a feels bad man moment for uh, for Team Spirit. Damn, pour it out for your homies at Spirit. Because right now, Nuke is loaded in the chamber. Phase are just four, five, who knows how many kills away from pushing us to that point. 
Train may have been dominant for Spirit. They may have been storming through this map as well in that first half. But it's all in vain now. Remember, this was 12-7 at 1.4 Spirit. They were in mighty fine control of this game. But FaZe, some back and forth rounds on this T side. And you know, all the exits for FaZe as well. Think about every round Spirit tried to save weapons. FaZe have just been grinding at this economy, beating, bruising it every single round, not letting Spirit save guns. We, we haven't seen a double AWP on the CT side, even when there's been money for it. Spirit trying to save cash for a rainy day. I just balance can get in here. He has, you know, like we said, he was having a slow CT side. He has two massive kills on that cross, stopping FaZe from getting into the A bomb site. And it's all in vain. It's all forgotten. It's all for nothing because of Mir's crash. Sometimes a cookie just crumbles, Harry. Yeah, you know, and I know for a lot of people watching, that's probably going to feel like a real sour moment because in a way, you know, it is. And that's just one of the downsides yeah. of obviously online play. It's one of these things where these rules are in place because there's there's like no it, it's always going to feel sour if you have someone drop out but once damage is done it, you know it's like the level playing field that everyone's on right yeah. like if anyone from phase had dropped out in that situation results would have been the same as well so it it, it definitely power sucks loss. but uh, we got a power, power loss not internet power. power that's like real bad harry internet going down that's one thing power going down mm. well we're gonna have to wait that one out for the side of mia here but that's uh, it's not a pretty picture right now. I mean, Spirit, they still have money, right? Like, oh, let's look on the bright side. They've got a bit of cash. I just balance. I'd like to see him on the orb or even give it to Magix, man. I know he won't <laughs> and I don't blame him. But Magix has, has been really great in this series. And when we saw him on the orb on that CT side of train, he he popped a few heads. So yeah, maybe giving him the AWP would be cool. But regardless, it's kind of like Spirit having to fend for themselves here with the buy. Each player slightly lesser than the last. But beggars cannot be choosers here. Not in round number 30. Well, ladies and gents, we uh, apologize for these technical issues. Mir's power has dropped and we're going to be going for a break. We'll be back in a moment, hopefully to be able to continue this last round of regulation. Remember, there is still a potential for overtime here. This game is not done off the back of one round. You know Spirit want to bring this a distance. So stick around, hang out and join us for a minute after the break. Well, we had a power outage, not on our end, actually on Mir's end. And now, well, we might be at the world's end in this one. However... Phase looking to take us the distance, you guys. I was trying to think of like a Simon Pegg or Nick Frost joke in yeah. there with World's End, but not meant to be done. And uh, let's take a look at this. Can Team Spirit pull this one back? Cold Zera out through long, opening up with the first kill. Oh, Trade no. attempted. What? And that's a very confusing <laughs> kill feed, but we're into a three on three. Nico. Chop, chopper trades. Someone, Nico kills him, the Molly burns him out. Yeah. So we get it. We get it all done. I disbalance still waiting around here at long. Now, remember, for Team Spirit, they are vying for overtime. They're trying to keep Dust to it alive. There was a time where they were 14 9 up. Uh -oh. And I disbalance, if he creeps around this corner, Brokey is scoped up on this angle with the AWP. So I disbalance his thirst for information, his thirst for knowledge. Can't outdo his need to stay alive in this round. Oh, every step he makes, Harry. Harry every. Every little wiggle and jiggle gets me a little bit more scared. Now they're going to move in. Brokey with the AWP on the first contact. The lineup. I disbalance gets one. He doubles it. A second. I disbalance. Shutting it down. He may have been quiet on the CT side, but that is the round that Spirit required to take this one to overtime. We're going the bonus rounds. We're going the distance. We're not going to nuke, at least not yet. We've got to play out this one first and figure out where it's going. Mir may have crashed in a very attainable one on two, Harry, but I disbalance. He picks up the pieces of the round. And I'm very, very happy about yeah. this. I think for a yeah. lot of people, you would have felt sour if, it, if you know, it does all fall apart on the back of Mir's internet dropping out. So that's where, you know, we, we were looking for a powerhouse and it's I disbalance to step up and generate absolutely all of it in that round there to carry this forward for Team Spirit. Another power outage, maybe? <laughs> no, not <laughs> no, this no. time around, Hugo. I've been informed that with how electric the atmosphere is in the Team Spirit camp, there is no danger of that happening ever again. Wow. 
That's a promise. Famous last words, Harry. Yeah, you know, that's what actually not wrong? a promise. Uh, no, don't worry, we'll be <laughs> and back the things here. I say yeah. do not represent the view of me or my employer. They so... don't re represent you. The things nope. you say nope. don't represent nope. they're you, just Harry. Words, I think of, you of all people, what you <laughs> say represents you. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe not. Spirit versus phase we're going into overtime ladies and gents about 45 seconds until this one goes live things are all good on both sides of the camp no more crashes i'm hoping so how many orbs does spirit have that's what i want to know right because they didn't seem keen to buy the double orb magic hasn't gone for it here and yeah i don't blame them with some of the, the the pace that phase have set in these rounds and how spirit you know like obviously double orbs can can leave you in a lot of problematic spots like having to retake b for example um I mean, e either site retaking with an AWP is going to be difficult, especially if you're a B anchor with an AWP and the bomb gets part of A. Like, how the hell do you do that? How do you go cat with an AWP and try and retake? It's not easy. So, right now, Spirit are going to stick with the one AWP. And to be fair, I don't blame him. I just balance. He's the one that got them here in the first place. He's the one that put the three kills on the board to take us to OT. And now we're live. Get ready. Strap in because it's going on. Phase Spirit, round number 31. Back to long, it seems. Yeah, this time, no resistance here from Team Spirit. They've gone heavy at Catwalk early on, and this might be the right decision to make in this round. FaZe have got a lot of stock on the Ooh. other side of mid, and Magic's toying with the idea of going for this peak, just misses that timing. Now, mid control taken, and Nico didn't see oh, the players no. at Catwalk, so there's always the chance that this is heard and reacted to early from Team Spirit. However, Rain still at long. Uh, this could go very wrong. Yeah, yeah, this could, this could go very, very wrong. They're still aggressing in through T-Spawn. And Rain's still at long throwing in utility. Oh, no. Oh, no. They've read this as, you know, like, we've got all the info. We're coming in on this long wrap. Guys, it's going to be sick. Don't worry, Mir, man. Just watch. Like, there might be one guy lurking, but that's all you've got to worry about in this round. And that's not the case. There's so many players coming his way, and he's not able to stand the test of time. This B-site falls. Rain still at A, still being a nuisance, and does wow. deal with eye disbalance. Faze looking to take the first round here in overtime. That is such an excellent round for Faze. Like, so well played. The fact that Rain fully sells that bait with a CT-sided smoke and just cuts Spirit out of the B-bomb site. They're going to try and get back in. Brokey's tag, but he trades onto one. Magic's dropped in the tunnel. And SDY and Chopper in middle with a two-on-three. OT, so money out the window. May as well go for it as they charge back in. But that Molotov stops them at their feet. And now they've got to go through the door instead. VMAS is holding it. He gets away with the first and the second. Phase find 16. And yeah, I mean, honestly, Harry, if Nico spotted that cat push for Spirit, that might have even like lost phase the round. The fact that they didn't know they were being flanked only just sends them further into the B bomb side, which wins them the round. So if anything, it's information that Nico's lucky he didn't get. Phase Clan, great round there. Spirit might have had the mid push, they might have had the read, but fortunately, misinformation given to them by Phase and a first round taken in OT. Look at this. Oh, tunnels pushed from Team Spirit. What? They're bringing what? the fight to Phase, and that's a decision that they are definitely going to come to regret. Oh, no, me. Not like this. Oh, there we go, he's back. And he's gone again, but uh, it's fine. He got one in amongst all of that. How? Tom Dai Young now trying to keep the dream alive. Does deal with Brokey, but spammed to death through the doors. I disbalanced in a 1v3. Does tag Nico through the double door. But at this point, the save is tempting, Harry. I don't think it should be because no, yeah, the have money lots. should be fine yeah. regardless, right? Like you're in OT, you've had 16k, everything is fine. You can get an orb dropped over. So I disbalance, hoping that he does attempt this one. Nico's gone for the hunt as well, so there's a world where I disbalance has a one on two in B. Yeah, however, Nico, the moment he hasn't seen him in CT, he's going to be aware that this lower wrap is a very big possibility, and you can see he's holding for it. He's holding for the fullback from I disbalance. So. Yeah, might not even get out of the round with the AWP, and that's going to be heartbreaking, considering that was the whole object here was for him to hold on to it. It doesn't really matter, like we said. Like, they can they can buy an AWP anyway. It's still this 17th round given over to FaZe. And, and think about how that tunnels push doesn't work, right? The reason being is because Spirit throwing a deep grenade into the tunnels, and what that does is create a big plume of smoke. So Magix goes through, and there's a player literally right in front of him, but he, but he can't see him. He can't see the player because... Oh dear, yeah, this, this replay me. Um, he, he can't see the player. 
because of the smoke of the grenade and that actually cost spirit the round think about regulation harry spirit did so well in locking in early ct rounds from passive play they did one aggressive round where mir runs through a door smoke to save spirit in a man disadvantage and and that was about all the aggression we saw in the ct half from from spirit and to good avail. Then we go into OT and in back to back rounds, Spirit have double pushed Cat and double pushed Tunnels, losing both of these rounds. The aggression is not the answer for Spirit. Bays are playing far too fast for you to be able to win yeah, these ranks. It, it's kind of horrid because I feel like, you know, for, for Spirit, I feel like one of the reasons why they were tempted to go for the aggression in that round there was because Mir dropped out again. Yeah. Um, that's also how they responded last time when they lost him in that like three on two. They just tried to get the round over and done with. It's a bit of a shame it looks like Mir's dropped out from the server once more and it might be a bit more of an extended pause here as we wait for Mir to fix his problems so best of luck to him and for everyone watching you're gonna have to join us after a little break because this could take some time hello hello it's counter-strike time again and i know it's been a while since we've had it going down on this screen hugo but the tech problems out of the way in some sense of the word you'll yeah. note that we don't have Mir in the lobby anymore. Certus, the coach of Team Spirit, is now having to stand in as a result of Mir having some ongoing uh, power problems. Worth noting, during these power problems, there's also a storm. Nico's power also went out for about yeah. 20 minutes, so we were waiting for that. He's now back in. And I'm uh, assuming we're going to a third here, yeah. which I think is a safe bet. You know, we're going to play that map with Certus unless Nico has more power issues, in which case, probably reschedule the game. Right now, we're live, Harry. We're in the action. Phase are up two in OT. Spirit, at least not playing aggressive here. Remember, that's what put them down in two rounds here in overtime, pushing and prodding with double setups, getting aggressive in the tunnels, pushing the T-spawn, and Phase outwitting and outmaneuvering Spirit. They look to do once more on this T-side to go flawless. The AWP up for Brokey. Those auto snipers lobbed out of the map by Phase. A group up on the catwalk. This AWP on long. Big shot for Idis Balance. Again, in this position, finding value. And Phase is going to beat ahead of the smoke. Wow. What a shot. <laughs> Man, Rain's been scary. He's like only one tapping in overtime or something. I don't know if that's a challenge he's set himself or if it's just happening accidentally. But Rain has been flawless in OT, leading the charge still for FaZe Clan. And he's secured this A site. He's left Team Spirit in a four on four retake up against some pretty overwhelming odds. And they're double off in the retake as well, which certainly isn't going to help here. Very slow on this approach. A lot of time already ticked off this bomb, and now they go on the back of this flash from Certus. They try and get up through CT. There's the mow down chopper and Certus on the receiving side. Biomass comes in with the trade, and Idis Balance gets put in the ground shortly thereafter. 18 four phase, one away yeah. from locking in a third map. And Harry, we like to be real here, you know, me and you. Let's just be a little bit real for a second. This sucks, man. This really does suck. Yeah. This is a shame. Spirit, they 2-0 Fnatic yesterday. This 16-7 phase on train. They hold a 14-9 lead on this map, and then we have power outages. This is the way this series is going to go for Spirit, and really, my money's on phase winning it now, and no surprise, right? Like, you don't have probably your best player in the server, so yeah, this is a horrible way for Spirit to likely lose this map, and they're only one round away from that reality right now. Dear, oh dear. It's going to leave a, a, a bitter taste in your mouth, I think, of your spirit. Knowing that you could have 2-0'd this series and, well, having this happen to you, such an important point in a world where, remember, if, if Spirit beat FaZe here today, if they beat FaZe and beat Fnatic, they've essentially pretty much guaranteed themselves top of the group right there. There's almost no way that that doesn't happen unless God sent go 3-0, and which also is even less likely, I would say. Um, so, yeah, like, that's a really rough spot for Spirit. They could have been top of this group. They could have been straight to the playoffs. But right now, FaZe are back in form and back with a five-man roster, something Spirit can't even uh, you know imagine right now i say that bmas is still standing but better than having your coach that's for sure although i would love to see yanko in the server harry that'd be fun imagine yanko versus certus you know a, a coach on either side it's not a world we live in mate yanko from what i've seen i think he plays with like nico and yeah, stuff quite a lot, a lot. Hugs, yeah. so you know like he is still very much a fragger and you know, man, we shared many a green room with Yanko. He's got the strats. He's got the uh, the reads. I would have loved to have seen him in the server. Yeah. But we don't get to roll back the years just yet. Rain looking over here towards Ooh. Kat. Going to put down Magics on the entry. And this might bye, fall apart bye. for Team Spirit. This third map looking like a lock in now for FaZe. They're dealing with them one by one. And it's only I disbalance and some die young left standing in a two on five. It's likely not going to happen. It's likely going to be Nuke. 
for this phase squad. They get the bomb planted. Someday Young will put up one. Now, I Disbalance has been good at delivering us some big moments, but this has got to be bigger Ooh. than ever. He's lit up the first man. Down to the 1v2. He's lost his teammate. He's trying to search for these players. Spots out the man at long, but sneaking through this CT smoke. Past He's dropped past Cold Terror and didn't realize. Defuse going to come on in. Phase, they lock in at this third map of Nuke. It's a sour.